Welcome to the ITU studio at the World Telecommunication Development Conference in Kigali, Rwanda, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Thomas Namanaskas, who's a representative of the government of Lithuania. Thomas, welcome to the studio. Thank you very much, Max. Always a pleasure. So I'd just like to start off by asking you a little bit about uh, uh, connecting and uh, digitally empowering. What are the key factors that are shaping our ability to connect and digitally empower everyone, in your opinion? Thank you very much, Max. There is some positive trends, there are some challenges, and there are some opportunities. I think among the positive trends is that in you know, recent years, I think in, in, in big part due to COVID, there's a big recognition of the importance of connectivity, and that's now recognized in uh, uh, Secretary General Sotoma Guterres's our common uh, agenda, uh, and uh, also organizations like G20 and, and so on. You know, another positive trend is that in the last years, the financial market situations, the low interest rates, a lot of stimulus money, but also uh, a lot of uncertainty market created a lot of opportunities for investments in digital infrastructure. And the third positive trend is that you have new boom of new technologies like low earth orbit, uh, middle earth orbit satellites that can help connect the world. However, there are challenges. First of all, these investments in digital infrastructure are not equally distributed. They're still concentrating mostly in Europe, in North America, somewhat Latin America, but not other parts of the world really are not that well covered. Second is that economic station is changing, and uh, actually uh, there's some reports in the first quarter this year, uh, the value deal in the telecoms market dropped by half because of really economic contraction and uh, now actually a quantitative tightening rather than easing and rising interest rates. So we'll see what, it, uh, what happens further. Uh, third is that there are some issues where the industry is becoming somehow a victim of its own success, you know, because there's a lot of investments, sometimes there's a labor shortages, and because of other challenges in the world, also supply, uh, supply chain shortages, which really delays um, uh, industry, industry investments. The other challenge is still affordability, and even some new applications are really not always target. You know, they're, they're those people who you know really are, uh, don't have much money to spend on connectivity, and we still see that information that around ninety percent of uh, the people who are not connected are actually covered by connectivity. And of course, you know, last but very important is climate crisis. You know? So World Meteorological Organization says there's a 50-50 chance that the next five years already will exceed 1.5 degrees Celsius. You know? So it's definitely a big challenge. Opportunities, you know, have a few. So first of all, governments are recognizing that they need to step up, you know, in this situation. So we have a lot of new investments, like U.S. Uh, set, aside, set aside 65 billion U.S. dollars for broadband investments. European Union, their response to recovery funds from COVID-19 said 20% of those should be allocated for digital. It's also not only in the countries, but in global investments. So we have programs like European Union Global Gateway Initiative that seeks to allocate 300 billion euros for infrastructure investments around the world, and a big part of that digital. And there's also opportunities, I think, for organizations like ITU now in this environment to really step up, you know, to ride the wave in a good way and to boost the way and to help the countries and the private sector to leverage that goodwill uh, or for investments in digital infrastructure in this current market environment. And how do you think that today's leaders and international community uh, can help uh, connect to respond to the challenges and seize the opportunities of today? So thank you very much. I think first words, there are a few words for me are key. First is partnerships. And, and, and partnerships are really key for that. So we need to kind of all work together. It's no longer a siloed approach. It both as partnerships within our UN family with different organizations, some we have a few of them here, with private and public sector, including new players, such as digital infrastructure funds, as private equity funds. They all, and we all need to sit at the table and see that as a common solution. Second is step up, on a, and, uh, step up our ambition on climate crisis. You know, this is no longer something is a activity. This is all. This is something that requires all hands on deck approach, and we need to look through that across all our activities. In the telecoms industry, 90% of uh, companies recognize importance. They report about sustainability in their reports, but only 36% actually do something about that in terms of uh, so-called science-based uh, target initiative of complying with that. So actually have a clear targets. 
So we recognize the problem, but we need to step up, you know. And the third is we have to really work on what they call renewed and more effective multilateralism. And we talk about a lot and multilateralism where we still recognize that every country around the world, uh, regardless how big or small it is, how powerful or not powerful, uh, how rich or not rich, you know, has a really strong seat at the table, you know, that we, all the multilateral organizations, you know, really look how to make them the most effective using the business manager managerial practices of the past so we really you know uh, we really make sure that they are effective results based uh, you know and then the last bit is really that they are partnership driven and also they really work together with others excellent now it's early days but I just wanted to ask you how's your experience been here at uh, ITW TDC here in uh, Kigali Rwanda I think it's an amazing experience. I think, first of all, you know, it's uh, hospitality, a great hospitality of a Rwanda host. It's not the first time for me in Rwanda, and every time I come here, and the first time was for the first Transform Africa event, you know, and I definitely that was already kind of clear demonstration of the capabilities of Rwanda to host great events, and we see that, um, uh, we see that here. Third is the people you meet, you know, so there's uh, really people coming back, and that's another hope, you know, so the great meetings here, there are lots of decision makers, decision makers around the world these are the people who can make the difference and this is great and the third I really love the innovations like partner to connect summit you know which moves us only from talking to the really action you know and Lithuania also comes there with a strong pledges both pledges to to strengthen our digital infrastructure and digital equality locally you know with investments uh, for around 350 million euros in our digital infrastructure in Lithuania to strengthening our sandbox uh, initiatives as well but also with helping others you know so we identified around uh, 12 countries that you know around Africa and Asia specifically where we want to help with that uh, you know strengthen digital ecosystems and our private sector also comes as you know together with us and again you know that kind of partnership approach to help with the strengthening uh, cybersecurity, you know, infrastructures of the countries that again identified, you know, uh, above ten countries that they will they will work on that. So this is clearly gave an impetus. The Spartan Connect call gave an impetus for all of us, not just say what we what someone would have to do in the passive voice, but what we will do to make sure that everyone is real digital empowered and everyone is true part of the digital world. Thomas Lemonastis, thank you very much for joining us and we hope to catch up with you again very, very soon. Thank you very much, Max. Always a pleasure. <laughs> thank you. Thank you.